Hi, I'm Danielle, I'm 17 and I'm from Ashburton. I'm keen to check out auto electrical because with modern technology and electrical and cars these days, it seems like a good career path and I'm also interested in racing cars. Luckily for Danielle, right here in Ashburton is one of the country's busiest automotive electrical workshops. Here to show her around the job is automotive electrical technician Mike Bright. Hi, I'm Danielle. Hi, I'm Mike. Are you, are you interested in doing auto electrical work? Yes, I am. Would you like to come inside and I'll show you what it's all about? Sure. What we do is basically um, is just to repair, service and maintain electrical systems on vehicles. We cover agricultural equipment, um, trucks and buses, cars, motorbikes, we get ride on mowers here and four wheel drive vehicles. Okay, we're out in the yard here. Uh, one of the first jobs I'll get you to do is finish installing this speaker here on the sound okay. system. Uh, but before we do that, I need to get you into your safety overalls. There you go. Thank so you. If you'd like to go into the changing room just through that door there and I'll meet you out here in a minute. Okay. The type of person that would suit working in this industry really needs to be self-motivated, needs to be keen and they need to have an actual interest in the industry. A good practical, practical outlook is helpful. Okay, looking good. Ready to go. First up then, what I need you to do is connect these wires into the back of the speaker here. Okay. So the red one goes into the plus there, and the black one goes into the minus there. Okay. There you go. And there's a screwdriver. How tight does it need to be? Just a wee bit, just so it's nipped, but not too tight that it snaps. Okay, just give them a little tug, just to make sure they won't pull out. Yep. And then just put it back into the hole there. With the speaker installed, it's time to test the sound system. Sounds good to me. Job well done. Cool. On to the next one. Okay, this is a brand new built bus. Um, we're going to go out and road test it. Um, we need to check that um, certain parameters are all working correctly. Okay. This is Serge, he's going to be our driver today. Thanks. But before they can head off on the road, there's a faulty door to be fixed. So Mike sets up the laptop to diagnose the source of the problem. Okay, so we've got the laptop hooked up to the body control modules. So we just need to check what inputs and outputs we've got now to make to see why the doors aren't opening. This gives us a list of all our inputs and outputs. So when they're white, it means they're switched on. And when they're black, it means they're switched off. Now one thing that I have noticed here is the door ramp switch is not on. And if the door ramp's not on, we can't close the doors. So I would say that our problem is in that circuit. Okay, first up, we need to have a look underneath and just make sure the ramp switch is actually connected. And the wiring for that is just under here. And that looks pretty good to me, doesn't it, you? Yeah, they're all connected. Excellent. So the next thing we need to do, make sure that there's no dust or debris trapped underneath the ramp. So we just need to pull it over like so. And straight away, we can see that there's a stone stuck underneath the ramp. So that's what was stopping the doors from closing? That's correct. Okay, let the close doors please, Serge. Yeah. And there we go, job done. With the doors working, it's time to electronically monitor the engine and make sure everything is operating smoothly while the bus is running. First up, this screen allows us to check all the temperature sensors to make sure how hot or cold the engine or the gearbox, etc. are getting. Okay. So we can keep an eye on that as we're driving around. So without yeah. further ado, it's time to get this bus on the road. Okay, so are there any problems and, and is everything running all right? Well, from the monitor of values, everything looks pretty much in sync. For me, what I find interesting about this job is pretty much when you turn up for work, you get given a job, something doesn't work, you get to play around with it, work out how it's supposed to work, and then you fix it and you send the customer away quite happy. The New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation offer on-the-job training to become qualified as an automotive electrical technician. Customer Services Manager Richard Wright is visiting apprentice Kieran Bradley. See how he's progressing as he works towards his national certificate in automotive electrical engineering. Here he comes now. Hello Kieran. Come through, it's good to see you. An apprenticeship takes between three to four years to complete and besides on-the-job training and support, there are off-site courses and training resources provided. Uh, the opportunities in the auto electrical industry um, are endless really. Um, after your basic apprenticeship, um, you can move into the air conditioning side and become a fully qualified air conditioning technician. 
Um, you can go into first line management and take up a management position, position at the company you're working in. Um, or alternatively, you can go and set up on your own. Um, there's a high demand for auto electrical technicians. Okay, this job here, customers complain that their car won't start. The starter is making a clicking noise. After double checking the battery is working and there are no defects in the car's circuitry, the faulty starter motor is removed to be repaired in the workshop. Okay, this is going to take me a while to get this all back together. Okay. Um, why don't you just go through there, meet Mark, and he'll teach you about air conditioning. Okay. See you later. Okay. Hi, are you Mark? Yes, I am. Mike told me I'm going to be working with you on some aircon. Yep, that's right. What we've got here is a tractor that's the air conditioning's not working. So okay. what we're going to do is we've got a temperature gauge here, and we're just going to start the tractor up briefly, and uh, just to see what the temperature is coming out of these vents up here. Okay. All right. As you can see, it's pretty warm coming out of these vents. It's not working at all. No. So what we'll do next is we'll go down and we'll check the gauges and uh, see what they're reading. Okay. In this job, you definitely need to be able to think outside of the square. All of the principles of how things work are pretty much the same across all the vehicles. The way in which you go about finding them and fixing them um, varies across all the, different, all the different types of vehicles. So if you okay. just shine that light around some of these connections up here and see if you can see any of that dye coming out there. I think I found something, Mark. Have you? Yeah. Having located the leak in the air conditioning system, the rubber seal is replaced and it's all cool inside the tractor. Good subjects to study, I would say, would be maths, um, English, maybe even a science kind of qualification, um, some technical and definitely computer studies. So what should it be reading? Well, it should be about 50 degrees. It's working well. Good job, well done. I thought Danielle did really well today. Um, she was very keen and enthusiastic to learn. She followed instructions really well and she carried out all the tasks successfully, which is all we can ask. And all of these things are quite important traits when starting out in this industry. I really enjoyed turning the tractor on um, with the aircon job. That was really cool. And yeah, I just think it could be a good career path for me. A national certificate in automotive electrical engineering level four takes three to four years of on-the-job training to complete. Students can take part in a secondary school automotive training program called Startup, which is run by Mito and provides a pathway for students into the automotive industry. The demand for automotive electrical technicians is growing as manufacturers are installing more electronic components in new vehicles. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.